Hello everybody, this is Daniel aka G Fish Not Fisher, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Rise of the Automatons or something like that. Um, basically what this mod does is it puts like, you it makes it so that like you're almost in the future. Um, it has a lot, a lot of different things that you can make, but so th I'm just going to show you my favorites. So there's two, there's two basically things that I like. Um, the first one that I'll show you is the Sentry. Um, Oh, whoa, whoa, lag. Or at least that's what they call it. So it's like a dog and it attacks your enemies. Or attacks attacks basically anything near you. It'll it'll attack. What is that sound that I'm hearing? Does it make the same sound as a creeper? Anyways, it attacks it protects you basically. So you can have a couple of these around. And they'll protect everything around you. I think they follow you too. Yeah. So they're like dogs, except they're awesome looking, and you can make them. Um, then the other thing is um, these, the actual automatons themselves. Um, they're these little, you know, robot like things. And you can give them um, work. I need to get rid of these guys. You can get rid of these guys, and they just turn back into items. So you just like hit them once, and then they, you can pick them back up. So it's not like you killed it. You could just, uh, just picked it up. I don't know where the other one is. Oh. Come here. Okay. So now these things, you give them commands. So like, oh, another thing I didn't tell you is that these things, they die um, when they fall in water, I think. I'm pretty sure. All the robots that this game adds into the, into the I mean, this mod adds into the game. If they fall in water, they disappear and they die. Uh, except, oh yeah, you can pick it up again. Okay, so they just die, but you can pick them up again. So, um, this, oh, see, they have a lot of different mobs. This thing is flying around. That's freaking cool. Um, again, back, back to these guys. These guys, you can, um, give them commands. So, like, let's say I want them to mine for me. I could give them a stone, um, but you need to put something down first. Um, first things first, you need a beacon. So, with this beacon, you just put it down or whatever. And um, what I do is I turn it on. Like, I just hit it. Right-click it. And then they come towards it. And they, they basically are, like, synced to this thing now. And then I would tell them that I need um, stone. I see some over there. So, let's go, let's go in that direction. I don't know if they're going to follow me. Yeah, right here. So, I put the beacon down in this area. And I'd be like, okay, they need to sync up. Yep. Okay. Then I'd give them stone. And you don't really actually have to give them stone. You just need one in your hand. Like, oh. And they put, it goes on their head just so you know what they're looking for. And then um, you still get to keep the block. It's just they, they need something. It's like, like when you give a dog something to sniff so they know what they're looking for. Okay. So now I just right click this and they go to work. So basically, they're going to walk around looking for stone, and they're going to break the stone. Um, are they doing it? I can't tell. Hold on a second. Oh, you have to right-click them individually. And now they'll do it. Sorry, my bad. So now they're all... Yeah, see, they start breaking the blocks. And this is fantastic for mining because... I can't, I'm stuck. Um, because you can just put them down really low underground, like let's say at level 13 where diamond is mostly found. And then you can just um, say, get all the stone, get rid of all the stone. So they'll be mining down there, getting rid of all the stone, and they'll probably be uncovering like a bunch of diamonds while they're down there. So, and they stay 32 blocks, um, or, you know, they stay closer, close to this. 30, I think it's 32 blocks away is the farthest they can go. Um, if you don't have a beacon, I think, um, they can just keep moving, which actually, if you're mining, wouldn't be a bad thing because they can, um, you know, just keep on moving and you'll just be able to see more and more diamond. Um, they're obviously very simple minded. They're not like very intelligent, but they are, uh, useful in that way. And so are these sentry guys. Um, I would show all the crafting recipes, 
but um, there are tons and tons and tons of crafting recipes. Is that thing attacking? I thought it was attacking my workers. I was like, oh my gosh. This thing is just a ruthless killer. So, um, I would show you all the crafting recipes, but there's so much recipes that it's, you know, like, just too much to bear. Um, because you have to build every little piece. What is that over there? Is that, oh, that was my dude? Um, so yeah, if you're inter interested in installing this mod, stick around for the installation tutorial. Um, if not, just leave a like, um, and please check out my other content. Uh, I do do let's plays and things of that sort. Um, if you're interested, uh, oh, these guys, I didn't even, I didn't even forgot about these guys. These guys are like, they're enemies and they're like, they make the sound of a slime and they just push you. They don't do damage to you. But, um, how come this guy's not attacking it? Get him. Oh, he killed him. This guy's just confused. So, yeah. Um, that's basically the mod. Uh, there's a lot of crafting res recipes, again, like I said. Um, you know, it can, it can get pretty messy in that um, aspect. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested, again, in installing this mod, um, stick around for the station tutorial. And if not, just leave a like and check out my other content. I do do Let's Plays and um, things of that sort. So... See you on the other side. Hello everybody, this is Daniel aka AD Fish and Fisher. And after watching my video, if you still wanted to install this automator, uh, the Rise of the Automaton, sorry, um, mod, then this is where you're gonna learn how to do it. Basically, you're gonna click on the link in the description, um, and it's gonna take you to this this forum post, and you're gonna go down to um, the downloads. Now, this one's a little bit weird. Um, if you have mod loader or you plan on using mod loader, I would I would recommend downloading the mod loader version. But if you're just going to be using this mod, no other mod, um, I would go with the normal version. But I'm going to click on the mod loader version because I'm, I am using mod loader. Um, so basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to you're going to want to go to your Minecraft. So if you don't have a shortcut on your desktop, the way you do this is by going to Start, typing in Run. And then inside the run type, type in percent, I have to add a percent, no spaces. Click, uh, click OK. And now I would recommend you make a shortcut if you don't have one. You just right click your dot Minecraft, go to send to, and then click desktop, and then it'll create a shortcut for you. I already have one, so I don't need to do that. But once you have that done, you can basically get to your dot Minecraft very easily without, you know, having to type all that crap in. So now that you have this, you're just going to, um, oh. Now, before you do anything else, you're gonna want to copy all your dot Minecraft folder um, information, whatever, and make a backup of it. So I have a, ba a folder called Backup just for this, um, and I just paste all my information in there, and it all uh, just in case you know something goes wrong, you have this backup folder, and you can just restart um, without losing anything. So now you're gonna open up your uh, your um, automaton. Uh, thing folder and then you're gonna go into bin you're gonna right click on your, your minecraft.jar open with winrar you will need winrar um, if you have a meta in folder delete it it'll be in capital letters just click and then click delete up here or you could right click it and that's, I think it's the delete file somewhere delete files um, now you're just gonna copy all of this all the class files and folders except for the dot dot folder drag it into here um, and make sure it says add and replace files. Click OK, close it all up, and now you'll be able to test it by going to your Minecraft, and um, it should load up perfectly fine. Now, if you don't have too many items, this is just how you're gonna know that. I mean, this is gonna how ah, this is how you're gonna know um, that it worked if it goes right to the Mojang screen like this. Um, if it doesn't do that, then you should take your backup folders and um, you know try again um this mod is you know kind of iffy when it comes to um uh what's, what's it called being compatible with other things so you know that might be a problem as well um now let me just um sorry for everything being so loud um now you can just if you have too many items like i do you can check for the items like uh, this one, Duplex, Dappling, Power Shard, 
slider shell all those things should be there and that's how you know install you installed the uh, mod correctly um, um, if this helped you out please let me know and by liking it um, and if you are interested in more videos like this and let's plays and whatnot go to my channel um, I do do those like every day um, anyways this is Daniel aka D fish not Fisher and uh, I'll see you next time bye